What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel B Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, it looks like, man, Steve's contract with Family Feud is up. And the thing about it is, man, they're saying he's very expensive. Now, there's an insider actually explained, man, that the production team is exploring other options than Steve Harvey because of his crazy salary. They're actually looking to replace him with someone a lot cheaper. And with him losing his other shows, I mean, that's even less of a bargaining tool that he actually has to utilize. Now, somebody actually came out and said, man, that Steve is up for his third five-year contract. Now, he signed his first contract in 2010, and the second contract he signed was in 2015. His contract is due to be expired in 2020. Now, no definite decision has actually been brought forth, man, but, but they're saying that his future with Family Feud is actually not looking that good. Now, if he does want to actually stay on, man, he would have to renegotiate his contract at a much lower price because apparently he's commanding way too much money and they just like, you know what, um, we could get somebody else to do this cheaper. He's just getting booted out of everything. Rumor has it, man, that Steve Harvey may be replaced by Good Morning America show host Michael Strahan. Now, if Steve Harvey does lose his Family Feud gig, man, that would make the third job he's lost in less than a year. Well, hell, even less than a month. Things are just not looking good, man. And I don't think it's an actual coincidence, man, that he's actually losing so many gigs back to back. Now, all this information about Family Feud, man, this is alleged. There's not really a lot of information out there, man. But according to the prices that he's commanding to be paid, and also versus him, you know, losing all these other positions and all these other jobs. It's not looking all that good, man. I mean, he does own a lot of property, so I'm definitely not saying he's going broke at all. But certainly losing some really high paying jobs, man, is definitely hitting him in the pockets for sure. Again, you know, Lionel B, man, I definitely feel like it has something to do with Marjorie's ex-husband writing a tell-all book. And it's going to expose the entire family. It's going to make Steve Harvey look really bad in the media. I keep telling y'all this. Y'all keep saying, what does her ex-husband have to do with it? It has a lot to do with it, man. That story hit everywhere. When dude came out, I was like, yo, I'm about to write a tell-all book. And also connecting her with that type of underworld environment he was living in. That's not going to look good for Steve Harvey, man. And the reason why her ex-husband has something to do with it is because that's Steve's current wife. So, of course... Anything that's attached to her is attached to him. That's what a husband and wife, that's what they deal with. And you you are each other's baggage. So people will stop saying, oh, that has nothing to do with Marjorie. Come on. Everything has something to do with Marjorie. Y'all need to open your eyes, man. Wake up and just pay attention. I think this book is going to shake the internet. It's going to shake the entire world. And Steve is not going to be employed anywhere, man. I mean, he might want to go ahead and go with that Facebook option of going ahead and doing his little uh, TV show on Facebook, kind of like Red Table Talk. Because, you know, Jada Pinkett, she don't need no network to do her thing. You know what I'm saying? She gets millions of views on that Facebook platform. So that's so she's doing really well at that, uh, despite being August Alcina's boo thing. But, yeah, she's doing really good with that. But yeah, man, definitely Steve Harvey, bro. He's losing a lot of jobs, y'all. Definitely losing a lot of jobs. Now, Steve Harvey just needs to just take the pay cut and humble himself and remain gainfully employed. Or it could be that his secret divorce he wants on paper that his income has drastically changed so that he doesn't have to cough up that much money to Marjorie once she leaves him high and dry and she smashes him with some insane alimony payments. Because y'all know... She's all about that cash where her being a former queen pin is probably straight M.O.B. or M.O. Steve. However y'all want to spin it. In spite of all his money woes and joblessness times, he copped Lori Harvey a 2019 Rolls Royce is valued at over $300,000. And I'm guessing that Trey Songz won't be pushing that car or the fiance she cheated and left him for Trey Songz. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey y'all, Thought Lives Matter too. And I'm getting that on a t-shirt one day. Y'all remind me of that. Now, speaking of Trey Songz, man, he just actually welcomed his first child, Noah. And he's basically saying him and his baby mama, they are blessed and overjoyed. Now, yesterday, man, he revealed that he actually became a father. The 34-year-old singer posted a black and white picture of him holding his baby's foot, captioned with a blue heart. The baby name is Noah, and there's also a picture of the baby available. And he is definitely excited. So we're all wondering, man, like, you know, 
I wonder how Lori feels about that. I wonder if she feels kind of like inner feelings because, you know, um, if you do the math, like, you know, it's definitely been less than nine months. So that means the chick he was dealing with was already pregnant before he was even kicking it with Lori Harvey. Crazy information, y'all. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share the videos. And I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.